Hello, hello everybody, what is up? Jerome here and welcome to an awesome Pixelmon livestream coming at you everyone over on our sponsored server played on AnubisMC.com We're of course over on the Sword Realm, that's where you can always expect to see us and I hope you guys are able to join us here because, uh, well we're gonna have a fun day So, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few battles here using my summertime team However, summertime Pokemon are kind of out you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's well into the fall, and in fact, they have their brand new Halloween Pokemon released. So I want to get my last little battles in here using the, the summertime team before they get put away. And then from there, we'll start to build and grow our Halloween team right here. And to give you guys an idea, these are some of the awesome Pokemon you can get, like a Halloween Caesar. I'm really hoping to get that. Halloween Girder looks hilarious. Uh, Lunala is obviously, and Cresselia are probably the most powerful ones from here. Uh... And who else would I would like to get? Ampharos is a classic. And Halloween Mewtwo. Now, that one is really cool. If you missed it, I think Dropsy got it in our very last video that we did on the server. That should have went up earlier today. Super cool video, if you didn't see it. Um, and yeah, so it was a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and get to doing some battling here. Uh, and as well as a shout out to our other sponsor, Apex Hosting. The hosting with the hosting. They provide the service that we play on, on a daily basis. And without them, we couldn't do what it is that we do each and every day. Uh, so please show them the same love and support that they show us. And go and check them out down below in the description using our link. It's going to be a great day, everyone. It's going to be a very, very good day. All righty, all righty. So let's go and throw out one of our Pokemon here. And let's see if anyone wants to try and battle us if they think they're good enough. I don't think they are, but we'll see. I'm just kidding around. This team isn't that good, to be honest, because I literally just picked the first six Pokemon that I got from it, which is why we have two of the Vanillixes. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Halloween Pokemon, so I'm hoping... I'll do the same with the Halloween Pokemon, but with a caveat this time, which is that if I get two duplicates, unlike the summertime team that I had built, I will not use the duplicates. I will keep going until, you know... Anthony Good asked, what do I think of Pokemon Violet and Scarlet? I think it looks awesome. I'm going to definitely play it and probably play it on the channel, too. Um, and I'm super excited about it. But uh, other than that, I don't know too, too much about it. But I'm just very excited about it. I'll say that much. And our first stream tips have come through. Hayden! Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for the five dollars stream tip. Hey, Jerome, don't remember... Don't know if you remember me, but I'm a big fan. I, of course I remember you. You're from... Ah, the Trash Pit, Minnesota. He said, I'm a big fan, as always. New Jersey's a trash pit of trash pit in Oklahoma. New Jersey's not a trash pit. It's just slightly gross. Okay? That's all. Just slightly, slightly gross. No, no, no. Let's see here. Ms. Saxophone is thank you for the $5 stream tip, though. He said, I want Tennessee to lose. Roll, tide, roll. Well, you know what? I have no skin in the game, so I hope your team wins, too, buddy. I know how big of a fan you are. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you to both of them, our two captains of the live stream. Starting us off quick there. All right, well, we just died to a Mega Swampert. Mega Swampert's a toughie to deal with. Sky, thanks for the $5 stream. Hey, Drum, how are you today? I'm doing good. We had a rare recording day on a Saturday today, so we got a lot done. Otherwise, though, I finished that up. Looking forward to maybe hanging out with my friend later on tonight. Um, it should be fun. Um, and uh, girlfriend's out of town, so yeah, I just pretty much worked all day, and I'm probably going to do some cleaning around the place here. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Hanging out with my friend Robbie. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else. I mean, it's kind of like the biggies right there. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Venusaur. Venusaur, come on, my guy! Come on, land the leash. Oh, my gosh, he hurt himself in confusion twice. Well, Venusaur didn't stand a chance there. Mrs. Saxophone is now our captain of the live stream with $10 in stream tips. Thank you. He said, Tennessee beat us by three last week. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a close one, at least, but that is definitely unfortunate. Sorry to hear that, buddy, but thank you for being our captain of the live stream with $10 of stream tips. And then Hayden ties it with another $5, making $10 in stream tips as well. He said, Jerome, I've been to New Jersey twice, and that's too, too many times. Okay, listen here, pal. It's not that bad. Minnesota isn't a trash pit. It's not that great of a state, but it's clean. Uh, is it? I've been there before. Is it really, though? You know? Radical Asian thinks the $5 stream tip. Where's Cappy? I gotta take down his explosion team with my ghost types. Uh, Cappy's not here today, unfortunately. But I'll let him know that you were looking for him. I'll let him know. Alright, there we go. We got two dragon dances off. Hopefully we can make something crazy happen here. Alright, Dragapult. Make terrible things happen for us. 
Oh, that's what we needed. All right, Dragapult. It's comeback season, baby. It's comeback season now. Take this Luxor out in one hit. One hit him. You're lying. What was the point of doing all those dragon dances? Oh, this is bad news, bears. Well, at least it's uh, electric versus electric here. Willie, good to see you. Thanks for the five dollars stream tip. Hey, boss man, noticed you did some GTA earlier. What a coincidence! I had work at that time. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, we didn't have a great turnout to be honest. There was not as many people as usual. I think a lot of people had work because, well, it was you know Saturday during the day. Sad times. But we had fun. We've got two videos done. There'll definitely be. Well, I think there'll be a GTA recording next week. So we're gonna have another one. Don't worry. All right, there we go. Lanala is now paralyzed. Ooh, discharge did like nothing. And now we're sleeping. Well, that's bad. Okay, come on, Ampharos. You can win this one for us. Let's go use a dragon pulse here. So we're going to do a few battles, like I said. Should be good. And Hayden Collins, our captain of the live stream at 20 total dollars in stream tips. said, exactly, Jerome. You've been here. You were probably surprised to see that streets aren't supposed to be lined with tra... Oh, my gosh. It was... Dude, it was not that clean, man. I went to St. Paul. That was not the cleanest of cities. I'll say that much. Just so you know, it's normal for streets to be clean outside of New Jersey, New York. Dude, I went to there, and then I also went across the bridge to Minneapolis. And there is, you know, not the cleanest city I've ever been to. I'll say that much. But then again, New York is kind of... <laughs> Nathan said you went to St. Paul. That's your problem. See? See? Hayden? All right, GG to that battler there. Let's see if we can get a better one going here. Aflac, thanks for the $5 stream tip. The new game on Ace. It seems borderline unplayable with how you play, a.k.a. equal teams. Try two sheriffs sheriffs to one robber. Should make one. Are you able to do that, Aflac? Because I only saw the option for 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. I didn't see an option to make the teams unbalanced. So are you familiar with the game? Is that a thing? Because if so, you're totally right. Because that was nearly impossible, I feel like, for the sheriffs to win. I don't know how they possibly could have won. Um, it was like a really difficult game, just to be honest. I feel like if you took five sheriffs and had one robber, it'd be difficult even. It's still for the sheriffs. Willie, thanks for being a five-month member. I mean, Jameson, sorry. He said, so I decided to pick this back up. Well, thank you, Jameson. I appreciate you. All right. Um, Xerneas, Xerneas, Xerneas. Uh, we can do Ice Beam. Okay, we won't do Ice Beam then. Fine. This is literally not what we're going to do at all. It's not, not at all what's going to happen here. All right, Venusaur. Hit him with Leech Seed, buddy. There you go. Come on, Venusaur. That's what I'm talking about. All righty, all righty. Oh, no, 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 no. Hit him with the poison powder. He avoided the attack. You're lying right now. Come on. Give me a little bit of luck here. Right. Synthesis. There we go. Stay alive there, Venusaur. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Synthesis back up. Use the leech sheet. Get yourself to full health. Oh, my gosh, Venusaur. You're doing it bigly here, buddy. He avoided the attack again. How does he keep avoiding our poison powder like that? So obnoxious. Almost as obnoxious as synthesizing and then using leech sheet a bunch. There we go. Poison plus leech seed there. All right. Let's use our synthesis. Get most of our health back up here, Venusaur. That's what I'm talking about, dude. He's back up to 333. Your boy's getting good at battling here. Tyranitar. A very interesting choice for you, my friend. A very interesting choice for you. Considering I'm super effective to you. Alright, there we go. We got Leech Sheet going now. And... I guess we'll do Petal Dance? Yikes! Oh, but we hit the crit! Let's go, Venusaur! Dude, Venusaur is pretty underrated. Although, to be fair, out of the Gen 1 starters, he's the last one I would pick, you know? You know what I'm saying? He's not he's not on the list there. Kate! Hey, good to see you. Thanks for the $5 stream tip. She said, Dad, is that you? Uh, sweatpants and all. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Lucario. Uh, hmm. If I use an ice type, I'm just going to get destroyed with his fighting type moves. Um... Let's do Boltoned. Whoa, Hayden now, our mega captain of the live stream at 40 total dollars. Thank you, Hayden, for being so awesome. He said, 
Okay, first of all, uh, big cities are dirty. In St. Paul, though the capital, Minneapolis is better. Okay, well, first of all, buddy, I don't know how you do it out there in the Midwest, but we make big cities in the Northeast here. You don't have big cities. Minneapolis and St. Paul. How many people are in it? St. Paul population. 300,000 people is not a big city, pal. That's not a big city at all. How dare you call that a big city? Anyway, especially after all the riots, neither are very good anymore. Ah, oh, they never really recovered much from all that. The small towns are great, and northern Minnesota is better. Fair enough. Small towns are always... I mean, I love small towns. But that is rough. I'm sorry to hear that they never really recovered from all that. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on, Dragapult. Take this Lucario out here. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Garchomp. All right, let me hit first. Oh, I hit first! Big! That was big. All right, Vanillix time. Icicle Spear, you're done, because Icicle Spear, I think... Oh, I thought Icicle Spear was priority. What am I thinking of? But thank you, Kate, for another $5 stream. I'm not giving you my next work schedule. This is unreasonable. Kate, Kate, listen, listen. It's not that we do this on purpose. We just plan to do it whenever you're at work. So on purpose. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> I'm a bad person. I'm probably a bad person. Is the stream lagging, by the way? I just realized I didn't change my bitrate. And so my bitrate is mega high right now, which uh, I should not be streaming at this high of a bitrate, but it seems like it's going fine. Everyone's saying no. Wow, okay. I got some... Oh my god, I have to ask Blade to get rid of that Raid Shadow Legends down. That's so funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's... Uh, what is it? It's uh, it's surprising. I shouldn't be streaming at this high of a bitrate. But whatever. If it's going to work, it's going to work, you know. Uh, no complaints there. Um, All righty. Sky, thanks for the $5 stream. Can I cause chaos? Yeah, always. You're always welcome to cause chaos. Who would tell you you aren't allowed to cause chaos around here? It's probably something Jameson would tell you. Or AVM, you know. I mean, they don't like fun. Dario. All right. Um, yeah, we had signal beam again. No, he got away with it. All righty. That's fine. This will be our last battle using this team, everyone. This is it. And then we're making the new team today. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. By the way, thank you so much to the people who have stream tipped already, especially Hayden Collins, our captain at $40 stream tip. It does mean a lot, and it's super awesome of you guys to do. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, speaking of which, we got two more that just came in. Nathan, thank you for the $5 stream tip. Small Town Minnesota is amazing. Also, first dono ever. Love you. Keep up the good work. Aw. Well, thanks, Nathan. Thank you for making your first dono to us, dude. I'm glad to hear, you know, the small town Minnesota. I, I, you know, I've never been out that way. Uh, to the small town portions, that is. I've only been to the, uh, you know, Minneapolis and St. Paul. But I'm sure it's beautiful in the small towns. All right, here we go. Colonel K9, thank you for a $5 stream, or $10 stream tip, sorry. Thank you very much. Hey, here's a Pokemon challenge for you, Jerome. You get six random types, and then you pick one Pokemon from each type, and then you battle. So you... Okay, so we get to choose... Ah, you know what? That's a pretty good idea for one of our next videos. I'll run that through. I'll, I'll run that by the team. That's not a bad idea at all. All right. Land that lychee. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Sky, for the $5 stream tip. Willie Jameson Ogden is not a cool person. What about, what's wrong with Jameson? Jameson's an all right guy sometimes. Kate, thanks for the $5 stream tip. You heard it here, folks. Dad hates me. Always streams while I'm busy. It's not that. I just purposefully try to make it difficult for you. You know? Yeah, I think you get it. You, 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 you get it, right? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. You get it. 
I don't think she gets it. Oh, this person was not paying attention. They high jump kicked twice. I'm a ghost type Pokemon. So I just got two Dragon Dances off and they just took out their own Pokemon there. So go figure. All right, Weavile. Oh, we got to make sure we take this Weavile out. Yeah, there we go. Kate, thanks for the $5 stream. I thought we were four lifers or whatever the MySpace kids said back in your day. Back in my day. Listen here, just because I... Wait, how old are you? Why is it back in my day? Then again, I'm, actually, I'm like almost 30. I am old. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sky, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Kate is very cool. So you don't like Jameson, but you like Kate. What's wrong with Jameson? Jameson's an all right guy. Sometimes. That's our third Dragon Dance we just got off. Oh my god, he barely did anything. We're totally Dragon Dancing again. Four Dragon Dances. Can I do another Dragon Dance? Sure, am I able to get five Dragon Dances off? Because if so, I'm doing it. I just don't know if, I, like, if it lets you or not. Hayden thinks the $20 stream to first off, your Minnesota accent is terrible. All right, pal. Pal. Six is the max. All right, yeah, we're totally doing another one then. Um, he said, second off, I need to say it, Minnesotans aren't Canadians. I was called a Canadian so many times in the army or that Minnesota's Canada light. One person called me a Canucks fan, which is just gross. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. It really is Canada light, and I have actually said that before, which is hilarious that other people agree. By the way, thank you. You're the captain. You have $60 in stream tips. Thank you so much, Hayden, for being awesome. Um, but yeah, 100%, dude. Uh, it is Canada light. Like, the people there are way too nice. Like, scarily nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's unsettling. Oh, jeez. All right, we need to uh, choose a different move there because dragon moves did not do good. But Hayden, they were unsettlingly nice. The people there. Sky thinks the five dollar stream tip. Mama Ogden is cool. I've seen her around a stream or two. I think it was was it Steve's stream? All right, here we go. Uh, he followed up a Toxapex with a Toxapex. That's an interesting choice. I don't really know what to make of that, but it's something. Um. All right, there we go. Oh, discharge. I did not realize that would be super effective. Oh, God. He healed up a lot. Oh, he's recover. All right, so if we're going to do this, we have to paralyze him first. So that's how we got to pull this off then. Just paralyze, discharge, and hope he doesn't recover. Yep, he's paralyzed again, couldn't recover. And now he's going to be very dead. ABM Simba, but I know it is, dude. I know. Blade's the only one who controls it. I didn't even set up the bot. I don't even know how it works, dude. <laughs> it's all Blade. Blame Blade. Hayden Collins, thank you for a $10 stream tip. My buddy who called a Canada Light was also from the East Coast, so it makes sense. Everyone knows the Midwest is the best, and the West Coast is better than the East Coast. East Coast. Dude, you are so wrong on so many levels. The East Coast is the best part of the U.S. Okay, pal? Dare I say the world. Okay? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I don't know if I meant it, but I said it. Oh, actually, all these ones have lucky eggs on. Let's take the lucky eggs off real quick. Because um, that will speed things up. Oh, it's right. I have this weird glitch where it doesn't actually pull up my Pokemon on the sidebar, and I have no idea how to fix that. Is anyone familiar with Pixelmon know how to make it so they pop up here again? Because I don't know how. But thank you again to Hayden for the $70 in stream. Hayden, you are awesome, and you are most certainly our captain of the live stream, and I appreciate you. Everyone's saying click the book. This one? What book? This one? Yeah. Pokemon haven't popped up there. See what I'm saying? Oh, wait. I'm blind. Don't pay attention to me. Why do you guys even watch me? Why, why, don't pay attention to me, guys. I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. All right, there we go. Uh, let's put that there. Yeah, good. All right, it is time for us to get our Halloween Pokemon. This is it. Zada crate time. Come on, give me the Mewtwo. 
Gib me Mewtwo. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be something terrible. Don't be something terrible. Don't be something terrible. It's gonna be something terrible. Spiritomb? Oh, just kill me now. Oh my... Jeez. Cut. Really? Alright. Hey, Stephen McPay. Great, great to see you, my friend. Thank you for the $5 stream tip. Kia Aura from New Zealand. What Pokemon do you not like the most and why? Ooh, what Pokemon do I not like the most? Oh! Easy answer, Dunsparce. He's pointless. He does nothing. He is not good at battling. He's not like a cute Pokemon that looks cool. He's not uh, anything. Dunsparce, like, name me one practical thing that Dunsparce is used for. Anything. The answer is nothing. Anyway, what did I just get? Oh, Halloween Kabuto. Now that's going to be cool. A Halloween Kabutops is going to be sick. I'm actually a fan of using Kabutopses. They don't get enough credit. They don't get enough credit at all. All right, come on. Give me that Halloween Mewtwo. Give me something good. Bro, we're getting robbed. Oh, I did make a rule, actually, to be fair, that uh, I would re-roll again if, if I got uh, the same Pokemon. Unlike the last time we did with the Summertime. Because that was kind of unfair to us when we had two Vanillixes. It wasn't really, you know... Console gods have done sparse is useful in Pokemon Go for deleting. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I guess Togepi? I mean, Toga Kiss, actually. To be fair, Toga Kiss is very OP. But I have to relook this up. How to evolve to Toga Kiss. Pokemon Go. Po <laughs> Pokemon Go. Pixelmon. You get me tripped up there. Is that a Licky Licky? Okay. Uh, I've never used one. I'm not going to like go so far as to say it's bad. I just don't really know. Uh, it evolves to Toga Tick with a shiny stone. Okay, I thought it would be happiness, but it's a shiny stone. Cool. Dario. Tentacruel? Oh, my. This team might be worse than my summertime team. I'm just going to be real with you guys. There's a very high likelihood that this is a worse team than my summertime team. Yes! And then the Mewtwo comes! G G, everyone! Look at that! At the very last one, we get a Mewtwo. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Blissey, bring it on. So I don't know anything about using Spiritomb, so I'm going to be looking up a lot of stuff about, you know, trying to make the best move set and all that with him. I know, like, nothing about him. Okay, he's a dark ghost. I just thought he was ghost type. See, like, that, that's a new thing I learned today. Um, Shadow Sneak now. We'll just get rid of that. All right. Command Witcher asks, what's its nature? Good question. We will go and check that out right after we are done with these battles here. Um, I like Sucker Punch a lot. That's a good one. All right, Spiritomb. Shadow Ball. Now that is a ghost-type move I can get behind. All right, here we go. So let's see. The nature on it is adamant nature, better physical. Oh, that's not great, is that? That's that's really not great. Yeah. Yikes. Well, um, nothing we can do about that now. But that's, yeah, that's a yikes. Oh, jeez. Dark Pulse? I like Dark Pulse a lot. Um... I mean, I'm assuming you're not a physical attacker, right? So we'll just get rid of that. And plus, we have the move tutor anyway. So just in case that was a bad decision, we can go back. Okay. Hypnosis. Could be cool. Could be cool. We'll throw that on there. Command Witcher said, I mean, the X-Variant Mega Evolve is physical attack, but you need a Mega Stone. I mean, it's not against the rules for me to get a Mega Stone. I don't know how I'm going to get one. But if that's the case, and it's a physical attacker, then... I'd be down for that. I'd be super down for that. 
All right, Dark Pulse. Philibert said Spiritomb is mixed, so you can either run Calm Mind or a Sucker Punch. Will a Wisp Mon? A Sucker Punch Will a Wisp? How would that work exactly? Is that like a good combo, I guess? Like I said, I don't really know. I, I've never really utilized Spiritomb. He's just that Pokemon that I'd catch in Diamond and Pearl and I'd put in the box and never use again. <laughs> never even look at again. Jeez. Spiritomb must be on the legendary XP train because he is really taking a lot of XP to level up. He's very slow. I feel like the other Pokemon would have been there by now. All right. Well, we've got to keep grinding him up to level 100. It'll take a while to get all these level 100, but it'll be worth it. Matthew Daly, thanks for the $5 stream tip. When are you going to play Raft? Um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I might. I might play Raft at some point. Dude, I, I've done so many Let's Plays of it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know if I want to do another one here. I've just, in the past, done so many. I know they finally finished up the game. But I'm also so late to it now where it's like no one would really watch it. So, I don't know. I'm caught at that weird point with Raft, you know? I'm a star. Satellizer! Thanks for the $5 stream tip. One billion is not that many. There are seven billion humans on Earth. I can drive for hours in Wisconsin and not see a single sighting of human life. Are you talking about the lions? A billion is a lot! Just because there's 7 billion humans on Earth doesn't mean that there's not a lot to have a billion lions. That's also a lot of humans. 7 billion is a lot of anything. I can't think of anything that 7 billion isn't a lot of. Jay said 7 billion snails. Yeah! Especially 7 billion snails. Let me see. Surface area of snails. Kind of curious now. There's a calculation for it, but I wouldn't be surprised if 7 billion snails was the size of, like, a small state. <laughs> like Connecticut or something. I would not be shocked. It's a lot of snails. Maybe Rhode Island. Maybe Rhode Island. <laughs> Jay said, just imagine 7 billion snails slowly taking over. Dude, that would be terrifying. Jay, that would be horrifying. Man, Witcher said those ant colonies that stretch entire continents are quite awesome, though. Dude, they are pretty awesome. Uh, I've never seen ones that go the whole, like, continent, but I've seen the ones that have, like, millions upon millions upon millions in their colony in, like, the Amazon rainforest, and those ants are really cool and terrifying at the same time. Dymo says there's a possibility for a town. I mean, it'll definitely make its way into a video at some point. Town of Salem's a great one. Oh, the Spiritomb. He is taking his sweet time for us here. All right.
at 98. We're almost there. Uh, sorry, give me one moment here. Okay, this will be the last one, and then I think it'll be level 100 finally. And there we go. All righty. Jerome, what's your favorite event Pokemon style? An event Pokemon. Uh, what's your favorite event Pokemon? I'm not sure I understand the question. What's an event Pokemon style mean? Amistar. Do you guys? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I understand the question, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> All righty. Oh no, I did not want to throw up Mewtwo Ooh. here. All right, there we go. And let's move on to Kabuto now. There we go. Kabuto should be a lot easier. I think Spiritomb is classed as maybe a legendary, maybe not. I'm not sure. So I think because of that, they require a lot more XP than would like a Kabuto or something to that effect. And uh, J-Cat said, as in their appearance. So my favorite... Oh, out of all these, I would say favorite is the moon-type Pokemon on this server. If that's what the question you're asking is, like, on the server. I think the moon-type Pokemon looks so sick. Um, yeah, definitely. Satellizer Bridget, thank you for... Wait, Leech Life does 80 power? What? I thought Leech Life was a bad move. Am I crazy? I must be I must be crazy because 80 damage is not a small number by any stretch. Satellizer Bridget, thank you for the ten dollar stream tip. Lions are barely smarter than a house cat. What are you saying? They are probably way smarter than a house cat. They just lay around all day and sometimes fail to catch a fast gazelle. You mean to tell me these things are beating Kyogre? Are you dead? With a billion of them, yeah, they're beating Kyogre. A one-on-one, -on -one, uh, obviously, Kyogre is going to crush a lion. But a billion going at everything else? Even a million lions versus Kyogre, the lions are winning. Plus, we got to set fair parameters here. Where's this battle happening? Is it going to be, like, on an island, I guess, so that, like, water Pokemon have a chance to? It's can't be, like, in the middle of the ocean. That wouldn't be fair. Satellites like Kyogre floods the earth and drowns every land, mammal, humans included. I. <laughs> but here's the thing. Now, this is why I disagree with you, though. Although it could do that, there's no way, because Groudon isn't going to want to just die, so there's no way Groudon's going to let that happen. And so Groudon will keep it in check and keep the land stable. So checkmate. You can't. That's not really fair, is that? There's no way that Groudon would allow that to happen. So fair is fair. That's not happening. And then Groudon's just going to sit by while Kyogre drowns him. Psh, get out of here, Satellizer. With your logic.
Oh wow, Kabutops oh, outspeeds the Blissey already at level 60 only. I didn't realize Kabutops was a faster Pokemon. Kabutops. James said, I got something to show you. Totally worth it. I'm scared, Jameson. What are you going to send me? You were definitely going to send me something scary. Ooh. Kabutops. Cappy sent me something. Oh, apparently I have new galaxy textures as well. I didn't even see that. All righty. Willie said, you like my Rattata. He named it Master Ball. Willie caught a level 11 Rattata with a Master Ball, and that's what he needed to show me, guys. That's what... That's what he was just talking. Willie, I'm disappointed in you. I'm the star. Kabutops. All right. Lissy. Just keep on taking yourself out quickly here. Come on. Get us to level 100. Philibert said, how can lions reach all the flying and levitating Pokemon? Because they... <laughs> well, it's not that. You're right, they can't. But the flying Pokemon eventually have to land, right? Like, they don't have an infinite amount of energy. Like, think about, like, any bird. Birds don't fly forever, right? They need to land because they get tired. So, eventually the birds will have to land, and the lions will eat them. Speaking of birds, bird! Thank you for the $5 stream tip. How are you doing? I'm doing good, my man. What about you? Appreciate you and everyone else out here who's been coming in and stream tipping. There's been a lot of stream tips so far. It's been very surprising, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Julie Hurley, thanks for the $10 stream tip. I have watched this elementary school. I am now a senior in high school around third grade. Oh my gosh, you've been a fan for a decade. That's so sick. I love hearing stuff like that. Like that, like Julie, that actually is so cool to hear that there are people like you out there who have watched for literally almost 10 years. Makes me feel like an old man, but it is really cool to know. Oh my gosh. What a wild ride it's been. I, I forget sometimes that I've done this now for 14 and a half years. 14 and a half years. That's a long time. Jeez. I'm loving it, though. I wouldn't have it any other way. Every year that passes on YouTube, I'm just grateful I'm still able to do it. And surprised that I'm still able to do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. Taking out the Kabutops. Or taking out the Pokemon with my Kabutops. Kabutops. Okay. Kabutops. Satellizer, thanks for the five dollar stream tip. Articuno freezes Wisconsin, solving world hunger. What is happening right now? <laughs> Why would that solve world hunger? Why are we freezing Wisconsin? Does Stead know about this? Does Stead need to know about this? Probably. He probably doesn't have to know about this. 
Ryan Duff, thanks for the $10 stream tip, Ryan. You're awesome. And Pokemon Evitel, a dark psychic type, is known when it dies to destroy the universe with itself and recreate itself in a cocoon. Well, that's terrifying to know, but also does not mean that it wins. It means that all the Pokemon die too. That's a draw. That's as close. If the entire universe explodes, that is as close to a draw as you could possibly get. Does not mean that because I blew up the universe, I win. No. And it's just most certainly a very big draw. <laughs> Steven McPink, thanks for the five dollar stream. Drum, you remind me of Psyduck. You give the buddies a headache. I wish I could argue with you. I do, but I can't. I can't argue with you, Steven. That's you're entirely correct. <laughs> and I'm just a terrible person. Command Witcher said if I mean if it recreates itself, then I mean No. Come here, you're, you're wrong. This is not a victory. That is a tie. Turn to cruel. Again. The Knight of Lore asks, could a duck-sized Kyogre beat a Kyogre-sized duck? What is happening right now? What is actually happening right now? But I think the Kyogre duck, the small duck. So like the small Kyogre. I think the small Kyogre would win. I really do. That's my hunch on that one. The small mini Kyogre would win that battle. Alright, Sludge Wave. Yeah, you're cool. Sludge Wave's good, right? Is, is Tentacruel a special attacker? Not a physical? I think he is. Blake said one billion lines would probably Thank you, Blake. Someone's defending me. Turn to cruel. Hey, bird! Thanks for becoming a member of the channel. I thought you already were one, to be honest. You're always around. But thank you for joining us anyway now, dude. Osma Gale, thanks for the five dollars stream. How will the lions kill a piece of metal like Metagross? And I have an XP all if you want to TPA to me. So how would they kill? Him? I don't know. I mean, even they would attack it from the inside out. There you go. Checkmate. Uh, no, I'm going without the XP all. Thank you though. I, I've got the uh, lucky eggs. I feel like the lucky eggs is probably a faster way to do this. Bird, thanks for the five dollars stream. I was for almost two years, but I had to cancel it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back, dude. Turn to cruel. All right, Sludge Wave. Come on, Tentacruel. Jeez, Tentacruel barely does any damage. At all. It's a terrible sign. Maybe it's not a special attacker, or am I just weak? Again. James said, Tentacruel is a special attacker, but special defense and speed are his main stats. Well, that's terrifying, because these are, like, special moves, right? They're not physical attack moves. They're just special attack moves. And they are doing, like, nothing right now to this Blissey. Granted, we're 30 levels lower, but I'd still expect a little more than that much damage, you know? Doesn't have to be a lot, but just the tiniest slither more. Needless Mew said, 1 million Caterpies versus a Mewtwo. Hmm. Million Caterpies versus Mewtwo. I mean, I guess a million Caterpies. I don't know. I think the Mewtwo would win. I, I think the Mewtwo would be able to win that one. Ryan Duff thinks the $10 stream tip said, I grew at Lions winning, but almost every Pokemon losing or end up in a draw. That's fair. That's fair. Jcat said, Drum, what animal would you let take over the world? Penguins. They look so dapper with their little suits. You know? Willie said, I have a very useful gift for you. I don't trust you. The last thing you showed me was a Rattata that you caught with a Master Ball. You just want to see the world burn, Jameson. Okay? We all know it. We all know it. Again. 
turn to fool. Alright, there we go, Tentacruel. Willie said, okay, but this is definitely useful. It is definitely not going to be useful, Willie. I promise you. You're going to say something absolutely ridiculous, or give me something absolutely ridiculous, and I'm going to be very upset. I can already see it happening now. I know my future. Hey, Blade's here! Said, miss you all. Oh, what's up, man? Blade's gone for a while. So we got Luke the intern now. Hashtag Luke the intern. Miss you, Blade. Can you come back? It's been a long day without you. It's been a long two days without you. Willie said, Blade, Jerome won't accept my gift. Blade, he's a snake salesman. Snake oil salesman, whatever that saying is. I just revisited your channel after three years. Did Blade ever take a bath in Takis? I don't even remember that being a thing. Blade, were you supposed to take a bath in Takis? Was that something that we said on the channel like way, 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 way a long time ago? Because that's hilarious. I don't remember that, but... Red Zone! Thank you for a $20 stream tip, dude! Super awesome of you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thanks for being awesome. I mean, if you want to get real with Pokemon, Arceus has a worse stat total than seven other legendaries, and is supposed to be a god. Mega Rayquaza has a tied for highest base stat max he could solo, said Lions with his natural disasters. Okay, I'm going to ask you something, though. How much, like, are we going to say that the Pokedex stats on these Pokemon are real, or they're urban legend? Because it's not... Fair, right? To say things like, like, as a for instance, like that one Pokemon where you're like, oh, it could destroy the whole universe and then it goes into a cocoon and restarts. How would they know if it destroyed the whole universe? You know what I'm saying? Kyogre could flood the world. How would they know unless it did and everyone died and then they wouldn't know? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, are we going to trust the Pokedex entries when doing this? Because it doesn't seem fair to me. Because some of them are literally unprovable because they imply that everyone in the universe died. Just you never played Gen there. 3, did you? I played Gen 3. Kyogre literally did flood the world. Yeah, but he didn't succeed. People lived. <laughs> By going to high ground, if he wasn't stopped, he would have flooded the world. A 10-year-old stopped him. Plus, that one I already uh, debunked anyway. Because even if we are going off of that, then at the same time, out of self-preservation, Groudon wouldn't allow him to do it. Like, Groudon's not just going to drown himself. So Groudon's going to combat him. And therefore, I don't think it's viable. I don't think it's fair to say that Kyogre beats the lions because he drowns them all. Because Groudon would not allow him to do that. I think that's a I mean, fair retort. I mean, Steelix beats the lions. Not a billion of them. Yeah. What are they going to do to him? Eat him from the inside out. His insides are as hard as metal. There's no way that his intestines are made of steel. That is the Pokedex description. He literally eats rocks out of his way. If you can digest a rock, you can digest a lion. Not a billion of them. I mean, it'd take a while, but... Blade said, would you like me to fix the bot? Yes, Blade, please. Can you fix the bot, please? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Also, I only came in to say I'm proud of you for finally using your green screen. Oh, no, Steve had this left over. I don't like this at all, and I'm going to be fixing it later. I just was too lazy to set up the stream. <laughs> you think I would have done this? You really think I would have done this? You know, I'll be honest. I assumed that a sponsored stream made you at some point. No, no, this is Steve's settings, and I was just too lazy to find out how to delete them. So maybe you remain that lazy. No. Because it just looks so much better. No, it's got to go. <laughs> Night of Lore thinks the $10 stream tip. Okay, okay. I don't think Rayquaza is omnipotent, but I think he could body a billion lions. But could Luke the Intern beat the Duck Kyogre? Luke the Intern would definitely win against Duck Kyogre. For sure. Luke the Intern has mythical powers. Zuri Hernandez, thanks for the $5 stream. The Pokedex entries are there for a reason, Jerome. Same with the stats. 
But some of them are unprovable, like I said. Like, it's not... That one that you were saying earlier, whatever one that was, that destroys the whole universe. How would they know if no... If, if, if the universe was destroyed, then how would they know? Like, how would... You, you, get, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, it's not... That's just not true. It's not a true Pokemon Pokedex entry. Right, Rain? Do you at least agree with that? I... Yes and no. What do you... Look, Pokemon is a weird game full of separate timelines. There's two separate timelines, one with Mega Evolution and one without. Wait, really? Yeah. If you are... Basically, did you ever play Gen 6? No, no, no. So, the Gen 6 Legendary was called the Ultimate Weapon, and there's this character, AZ... And there are two separate universes based on whether a thousand years ago in a great Pokemon war, he used the ultimate weapon or didn't. And in the one where he did, I think, is where Mega Evolution is not a thing. And that's where your regular red, blue, you know, fire red, leaf green, all those are in. But in the one where he didn't, Mega Evolution became a thing. And that's where like Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, the Let's Go series... And anywhere that has Mega Evolution exists. It's a different universe entirely? Yes. Oh, and that's canon? Yes. Weird. It's Jeremy. Thanks for the $8 stream tip, or stream sticker, I should say. Thank you. Mr. Steve, thank you for the $5 stream tip. I got my wisdom teeth pulled. All four of them. It hurts, but you're making oh, I'm sorry, man. I was supposed to get my wisdom teeth pulled uh, April of 2014, and uh, I never went back to that dentist again. So anyway, um, <laughs> but I'm glad you took that dive, and I hope you're feeling okay. Is this guy evolving all of his Geodudes at the same time? Yeah, that's what it looks like, some sort of ritual. How is this? How? How is he evolving them all at the same uh, time? He probably rare candied them all. He probably threw them out and why rare candied he, them. Why would he do this? Uh... To summon to walk. I mean, it's true. That is probably how you summon Dwayne the Rock Johnson. But yeah, do you need a single Pokemon to beat a billion lions, or is it one of every Pokemon? It's one of every Pokemon. Then the Pokemon win hands down. <sighs> Even a couple of the baby Pokemon could take out a hundred lions. I'm not saying they could take out the full billion. But when a baby Pokemon can take out a hundred, one electrocute from a Pichu before it gets eaten, hundred lions dead. Yeah, but each Pokemon, if there's like roughly a thousand Pokemon, so each Pokemon has to kill a, a what is it, a million lions. Each Pokemon has to kill on average a million lions. It's slightly less because there is slightly more than a thousand, but it's more or less a million lions on average per Pokemon. Some of them, like Caterpie, are getting zero, keep in mind. Like, they're not, Caterpie's not killing a single po uh, lion. True. But then you have to remember the ones that are still baby level that could take out several po lions, as well as the god tier Pokemon, which you can make the argument that maybe they couldn't take out a billion lions. But a Yveltal can fly. It's, and it can shoot lasers. Zuri it's gonna Hernandez? take out at least a million. Zuri Hernandez, thanks for the $5 stream. It said, Necrozma destroyed a universe, making it devoid of life, if I'm correct. Dude, but how does anyone know that? That's what I'm saying. These Pokedex entries are absurd. That's not like... Well, no. That goes into the Ultra Beasts, where that is, again, separate universes. Because Necrozma is technically an Ultra Beast. I'm not falling for it. It's like they've come from separate universes, and... Also, at that rate, Necrozma is light itself, so it technically wouldn't be able to be hit by a lion. Oh, Blade sent me a message. Interesting. Um, give me a moment here. That is pretty important. Um, okay. Sorry. It was important. It was the mod pack link not working, so I wanted to message oh, that dear. to them. 
Yeah, it's not great. Red, Red Zone, thanks for the $5 stream tip. After the $20 one earlier, thank you for both those. Giratina is the Pokemon of antimatter. The only thing that can actually destroy matter, so if he wasn't in his distortion realm, he could kill us all. What? That's actually canon as well. He was put there for a reason. Him existing in the our universe would destroy our universe. But he does exist in the universe. No, he's in the distortion realm, which is a parallel universe. Well, then how come I can catch him in Gen 4 Pokemon Diamond? Uh, because you're destroying the universe. And also, you couldn't in Diamond. You had to go Platinum. Oh, Platinum, yeah. Still, same thing, right? I did, yeah, you're destroying the universe by doing it. Wait, actually? I, I don't know. Maybe being in the Pokeball prevents the antimatter, but... I don't know. If an 11-year-old just somehow destroyed the universe, I'd be very upset. That happens a lot in the Pokemon games. <laughs> Again, Kyogre was flooding the world and was stopped by a 10-year-old. Groudon didn't stop it. Rayquaza really didn't stop it. It was the 10-year-old. That's one cool 10-year-old. <laughs> is that the takeaway that I was supposed to be getting from that, or is that... Pretty much. <laughs> okay, just making sure. This team, everyone, it probably won't be ready this stream, but I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, and I think I'll be able to have it ready by the end of that stream. This team's going to be interesting. It's my all-Halloween team. They're looking awesome. But, yeah, in order to get them all to level up, it's just going to take a long time. You're not going to leave him as a Tokatik, are you? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I need to get my hands on a shiny stone at some point. Right, it is shiny stone. For some reason, I thought it was Dawnstone, but that's Galead, isn't it? I thought it was Friendship. That's two Tokatik. It's one of those weird ones. It's a Friendship Evo and then a Stone Evo. Oh, okay, so I wasn't entirely wrong. Interesting. That is a very weird one. Huh. Command Witcher said you have a shiny stone in your inventory, don't you? I didn't think I did, but if I do, that's probably from a fan who just walked up and threw it on me or something. I, I wasn't... Or did I have it the whole stream? Because that's very funny. If so, I did not realize that. I'll go check. Thank you, Ryan Duff, for the $10 stream tip. Rayquaza only intervenes in Groudon and Kyogre, or, or I think I'm going to say if Kyogre and Groudon are fighting. Mm. So if Groudon and Kyogre aren't fighting each other, but they're fighting lions, then Rayquaza might just sit there on his laurels and do nothing. No, no, no. By your argument, it's the lions versus every Pokemon. Rayquaza's fighting. You didn't look for the shiny stone. <laughs> do you think... Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Do you think that a lion, let me think, a single lion versus a primate? The primate's easily going to win. I wouldn't say easily. I think the primate will win. I don't think it'll be an easily. You think easily? Easily. See, I don't know about that. I, I It will win, but I just, I wouldn't use the words easily. I do have a shiny stone. Huh. Yeah, I'm curious if a fan gave me that or not. If so, thank you. Um, here we go. And while we're using that and evolving this Togetic into the... Actually, I want to see what this Togekiss looks like. But while we're doing that, everyone, this might be the perfect place to call things quits here. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming by and hanging out with us today. Thank you so much, uh, and thank you to our sponsor, uh, play.anubismc.com. You can go down below in the description and join us. We're going to be on the Sword Realm. We'll be back tomorrow, so get online and start training alongside us over here, hanging out with us, and uh, you'll be able to maybe battle me in the next stream. I'm hoping I'll have my team ready by then. And thanks for our other sponsor, Apex Hosting, the hosting with the mosting. They provide the servers that we play on a daily basis, and without them, we couldn't do what we do. So please, if you're in the market for a new server to play with your friends, go check them out down below in the description and show them the love and support that they have shown us for years. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great day, and bye-bye.